is this the right opportunity for you? Uh, man, I've always been a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I love the way they do things. I actually wanted to come here when I was coming out from uh, the draft years ago, I feel like now. But uh, just the defense, being able to come here, fly around. Uh, I know the, his, the rich history of linebackers here flying around, making plays. And uh, I wanted to come be a part of that. And um, of course, I know a couple of people on the team. And Denzel, he here, Denzel Martin, coach, outside linebacker coach. Uh, we, we grew up together, I can say, because me and him was college roommates. So it felt good to be able to reunite with him. Did you have a relationship with Mike Tomlin coming out of the draft? Did you meet him through yeah. that process? Yes, I did. I actually got to have uh, dinner with him uh, back at, at Mizzou when he came and visited for Pro Day. So, yeah, uh, and we kept in contact a little bit. Every time we played each other, I'd say what's up to him or something. or tell Denzel to tell him I said what's up. So I'm happy to be here with him. How much do you help this defense? I can do whatever, any way the team want me to help. I can help a lot of ways. Whatever I, I need to come here and do, whatever the coaches need me to do, I'm going to come here and be a part of that and help and uh, add to that and uh, be able to help the team win. How much does it help having a guy like TJ and Alex out there too? Yeah, that's a lot, man. Those guys, man, you know you get to watch guys playing in the NFL. We play the same team, so I watch those guys a lot, man. They some dogs, and uh, I, fit, I fit right in with that, man. I fit right into the D-line room, and I'm going to be ready to get out there and hunt with them. Marcus, the role ends up being number three behind those two. Is that enough? For a guy with your resume? Like I said, man, like whatever, whatever coach don't want me to come in here and do, I'd be ready to hunt, man, and help the team win. I'm all about winning at the end of the day. So whatever I got to do to come in and help the team win, I'm, I'm going to be ready to do my part. You had a lot of sacks two years ago and went down a little bit last year. With that, anything you can attribute that to? Uh, football. Yeah. Football. Some days you come out, some seasons you come out, you get a lot of sacks. Some seasons you come out and you work just as hard as you did the season before and the sacks don't fall in your hands. So, and that's what I do it for, man. That's why I love the game, man. It ain't going to always go your way, but is you going to powder bottle or you're going to get back in the lab and work, and that's what I'm going to do. What have been your early impressions of TJ? How much did you know JJ and the Watt family? Yeah, of course. I know JJ, man. I know he worked hard and a uh, funny guy. Everybody think JJ just be serious all the time. And TJ, man, great dude. I've been able to talk to him, catching up. As soon as I walked in, he did nothing but show me some love and tell me some stories JJ told him. So it feels good to be here with him. Man. I know he's a great player just like his brother. I'm excited to be able to come here and ball with him and be able to say I played with both white brothers, man. Do you call JJ and ask him for like a scouting report on his brother or anything when you're trying to decide? No, nah, I don't do all that, man. I, I don't do all that. I just, uh, I knew, th I know the organization, man. This is a, this is a great organization. I've been in the mates, meet some people here, and of course Denzel. That's like my brother. Me and him talk a lot, so I know about how it is up here in the vibe and how everybody up here cool. And as long as you do your job, you're good. And that's the type of guy I, that I am. Come in, do my job, get to work, and do whatever I got, do whatever I got to do to help the team win. You have some dirt on Denzel in case you need it. Huh? You say what? <laughs> you got some dirt on your old roommate? Nah, nah. This, he, he a great guy, man. All around great guy. He always been a great guy. So. I ain't got no dirt on him. What's your Did relationship you, like with Patrick Peterson, you know, but you both being Cardinals, you yeah. talked to him before you came here? No, no, I didn't, man. I didn't. Uh, but uh, me and Pat talk a lot, just staying in contact. That's my big brother, man. He's been able to took me under my uh, under his wing when I was a rookie in, up in Arizona, and we've been the same since. So, man, I'm glad to be back with him. And he a Hall of Fame player, man, so I'm glad to be balling with him. Marcus, Marcus, how much was, was scheme an important thing for this? Obviously, defense game. You have TJ who puts up big sack numbers. Alex did last year. Was that important to you to go to the defense? That yeah. Scheme that works for you. Yes, kind of a scheme, but uh, I like I just like the the energy, man. You watch the Pittsburgh Steelers on game film. Everybody flying around. Everybody punching at the ball. Everybody trying to get after the quarterback. And uh, to come and play and be a part of that and be able to add to that, I feel like I can help with that. So that was a big reason I came here. When you so you on your visit last week. Um, you know, what did you guys kind of discuss? Did they give you any expectations in terms of? Snaps, you know, playing time, anything. See, like I don't need all that because I know how football is, man. You can sit here and tell somebody anything or tell them something. But of course, you want to hear stuff, but at the end of the day, I know how football is. Anything can happen. So what I'm going to do is go hard every day, come to work every day, learn from these guys. And when the time comes, whether I play one play, whether I play 30 plays, I'm going to go hard all those plays. Steelers have, been, Steelers have been looking for that third outside linebacker for a while, signing that guys every year. What makes you the right guy to be that solid number three? They came and got me, so. I'm going to get out there and ball and go hard every day. I can't sit here and say, oh, this was going to make me. I know I'm going to come to work every day. I know I'm going to go hard. I know I'm going to do everything in my power to learn and, and get better. So I guess you could say that makes me. that's what makes me the guy because I'm going to come to work every day. When did you first to Steeler fan? But what, growing up or not? Uh, uh, James Harrison, Lamar Woodley, those guys, watching those guys play back in the day. And, um, uh, man, for a long time, for a long time I've been a Steelers fan. Just always loved the Steelers defense. 
uh, Troy, Palomalu, all those guys, man. And, and they play like I play when I try to mock my game after those guys are younger, just flying around on the field and making plays all over the field, not just making a sack, but making plays down the field. If the other team make a big play, always being around the ball. And that make me, uh, watching the Steelers made me really like them and made me want to play with them coming out of college.